dog of this <laughs> boy here. This week on the Mr. Sink Show, Jeff from Go Cleaning gets up high and washes down a rendered home and makes it look new again. Dave and Glenn get sticky and wrapped up to show us the different types of tapes. Have you ever seen a kitchen oven with a Lamborghini paint job? Well, stay tuned because Rob and Connie are going to show you this classy oven. And can you guess this week's guess at all? Hello everyone, we're here with Jeff from Go Cleaning. Hi Jeff. Hi Mr. Sink. Okay, so what are we doing today, Jeff? Well, uh, customers um, requested that we clean one of these uh, houses. It's a rendered house and it's got all sort of black marks and lichen and moss all over it. Tricky job because it's render. You've got to be very careful because we're going to be doing it with a pressure cleaner. Okay, well, let's have a look at this job. Well, if you have a look, you see how there's um, those black marks coming down? These black marks are caused by um, organic matter as well as just stains and dirt from the water coming off the roof and coming off the top of those mouldings. Traditionally very hard to get off without damaging the render, but uh, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to get that off with a um, pressure washer that's been specially set up for that type of work. Let's go cleaning. All right, let's get into it. Hi Tom. Hey mate, how are you? I'm well. So why are we getting the house cleaned? Well, my wife's been nagging me for a while to get this done, so uh, I thought I'd finally ring up Go Cleaning and get them to come down and uh, clean it up for us. Nagging? Ooh, that's unusual for a wife to do that. Oh no, she's nagging me in a nice way. Okay, so no more sleeping on the couch. No. Cool. Okay, well, let's get started. I'm ready, Mr. Sink. Ready, Start Jeff? Yes, please. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one, ignition. <laughs> Let's go cleaning. Later on, I'm going to have a go at this. If it'll lift you up. <laughs> I've been on a diet. Yeah, I, lo I, hope I so. lost the 500 grams. I hope so. Remember what happened last time. <laughs> Hot and sticky, tell them rain hard we. Dave, how you going, mate? Good, mate. Good, mate. Good. Good. So what are the guys from uh, Unico Products providers today? Adhesive tapes. Tapes? Shrink wrap. Oh, sh did you say shrink or shrinkage? Shrink or? Shrinkage wrap. Oh, shrink oh, okay. Yeah. Like <laughs> shrink wrap. Yeah. Uh, and a bit yeah. of tape and yeah, yeah okay. a bit of tape. all sorts. Tape dispensers. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, different, different sorts of tapes. So um, where do we start, mate? Well, got this tape over here, Dave. Yeah. It's got a bit of a grip on it. Okay, I'd like to get a grip on it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so, so you can stick that down on um, some steps. Okay. They're slippery, and you'll, you know, it won't slip oh, over. Okay. So, so situations like if it's like a public area, like yep. especially if it's a place, you know, where or a, a ramp. Of, so a lot of yep. people don't slip over that sort of stuff. Shopping yeah. centres, you'd say. Yep. Um, and even in a home, if, if someone uh, has, yep. to, has to rebuild their bathroom or something, and on the outside they need it for the ramp. Exactly. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. So we've got that, but what yeah. about um, like some other stuff? Yeah, oh, all that safety tape, barrier tape. Oh, barrier tape. Barrier tape, yeah. So, um, you know, so if we want to barricade uh, Mr. Sink from us. Uh, yep, so stay over there, Mr. Sink. <laughs> don't come no, past the line. But uh, yeah. I've noticed there's two different types. Why are they different colours? Oh, just different, different uh, 
different posi positions they need it. They might need yep. black and yellow or black and red. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's just All sort right. of different areas that they might need a different colour. Okay, yeah. beautiful. And um, what else have we got? Uh, well, we've got masking tape. Masking tape? Yeah. So, when you're is painting? That, is that what you mean by yeah. mask my art? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can. All right. Yeah. Um, and then what else? Cloth tape. Cloth tape? Cloth tape, well, 100 mile an hour tape, cloth tape, taping but, up but seats. This, this looks a little bit like gaffer tape. Gaffer tape, yeah, some people call it gaffer tape as well. Okay. Yeah, but it's a cloth tape. Yeah, yeah I, I know. Um, I know this is generally used, like you know, for you know musicians or things where they want to sort of yes. tie down cables, that sort of stuff. That's as well. right. Or yeah. repairing a seat or something like that that's torn. Or sure, yeah. when she wants to get to do a film clip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. But um, okay, yeah. well, interesting. And yeah. uh, so, what about something like this? Well, that's aluminium tape. Actually, we sell that to the airport. They put it over the runway lights when they don't want you know to use that runway. They cover okay. up the runway light or on a roof or a gutter. Okay, but yeah. I've also seen this on ducting as well. That's right, they do use it on ducting as well. Yep. Okay, yep. so uh, hold it it, together. It just basically so it holds together so no air comes out, that sort of stuff as That's well. That's right, yep. All right. And well, there's also uh, duct tape as well, which is, you can get that in black or grey. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. all right, beautiful. Yeah. So a bit of duct tape. Yeah. So now, um, uh, hold on, hmm. what's this? Well, that's, um, that's actually glow in the dark tape. Glow in the dark? Yeah, so if you want something to glow in the dark, whack a bit around it. Okay. And you'll see it in the dark. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. It's, it sounds very good, especially when you don't have a torch. That's right. Yeah, exactly. that's right. Yeah. Very right. interesting. Yeah. That's but, right. Uh, now, is there yeah. a way you can demonstrate this for us? Oh, yeah. Well, look. Say this. See your shirt's open a bit there? Yeah. I'll, I'll just do it up there. Oh, hey, what are you trying oh, to do? Oh, oh, oh. oh Jesus <laughs> Christ, bit of, man. Bit of wax. <laughs> bit of wax. Oh. Bit of waxing. Oh, you actually took a bit off there, you bastard. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a bit so, of waxing. Um, yeah. What about this? Yeah, well, that's... Um, that's oh, shrink that's wrap. Right, right. oh, uh, not, uh, not shrinkage, shrink tape. Shrink wrap, yeah. Okay. So, so, um, so say, you want to demonstrate? They want to tie you up. So oh, hold hold on, I'll grab it. Just go around, around, around. Oh, yeah. Hold around. Hey, mate. Yeah. My guts, <laughs> mate. My guts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Hey, be careful. <laughs> yeah. Be careful. Yeah. Oh, oh, the oh, things oh, that we're doing. Oh, oh, oh. There we go, Dave. Oh, Give me that, again. Mate. <laughs> yeah. All right. So no, that's it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, so what do we do next? I don't know. So you can break it or cut, break it, it, cut it with a, a, yeah. a knife or something? And that one you can heat it up. You can heat it up with a hair dryer or something like that. And it will shrink more. But what's another way of Give doing it? So, um, is there another way we can do it? Yeah, well, we can use this old packing tape here as well. So like if this is used for what? What, packing boxes? Boxes on the pallets. Uh, or pallets as well. Yeah. yeah. You want to wrap up some, uh, some things like when you're removing or something? Yeah. Anything like uh, that. I don't know what I'm getting myself into here. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm in a sticky situation. Yeah, keep turning around, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm getting bloody dizzy. Right? Yeah. 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 So, there we right, go. I think I can be sick in a second. Yeah. Oh, oh bloody hell. So, yeah, you, you want to finish off the job? Yeah, I think he's pretty wrapped up there. <laughs> oh, what, what else could we tape you up with? Well, you, you, oh. you, I know you've always, and you and Mr. Sink always wanted to shut me up. Yeah. So, but, uh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry, knocked him out as well. <laughs> oh, I better let you breathe, eh, Dave? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, shocker. That's just a few adhesive tapes we've got oh, here. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. That bloody hurt. Oh. Uh, anyway, thanks to the guys at Unique Current Products, and yeah. thanks again, Glenn. I'm no, all bloody no, tied up again. <laughs> so, tapes. What a tool. That's a tool. Can you guess the guess the tool? So tell me, Glenn, what was last week's guess the tool? This is a door holder, Dave. A door holder? Yep, for a carpenters and that sort of thing, they put that in. Oh, okay. Stand your door up. Yep. You can fit all your locks, hinges, everything. So it doesn't rock or anything like that? Doesn't rock or move, yeah. So beautiful. So, to the lucky winner, gets a beautiful voucher from Glenn. Yep. Congratulations. Mr. Sink goes up. Mr. Sink goes down. Mr. Sink goes up. 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 Hello, God! Great appliances. 
We're here again with Connie at Aid Appliances. Welcome again, Connie. Hi. Now, today we're talking about appliances, but not just appliances. Now, most of you guys out there, when you think of good appliances, you think Italian. Well, I do anyway, because traditionally Italians would make the best appliance and no better than Bertazzoni. 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 <laughs> Spoken like a true Italian. <laughs> So what is it about Bertazzoni that you can, you know, well, Bert talk to the audience Bertazzoni has been around since 1870. So that's, well, that's about almost 150 years. Yes, correct, yeah. Wow, so they're 150 years old. Yes, they've been going for a very long time. And uh, they were the first appliance company uh, to produce freestandings in Italy. Well, there you go. Italy, so they yeah. must, these must be fair income and good stuff, eh? Yeah, they're fantastic. Um, they've actually designed their product um, commercial grade for the domestic household, yeah. So everything about these appliances yeah. is pretty much commercial grade. It so is. like you can, I, mean, I could see with these, these they're racks. They're very solid. If you they actually are. have they're, a look, they're not, they're not your traditional uh, trays and racks. Um, everything is much, much more solid and much more uh, robust, yeah. yeah. You know what I did notice? These knobs, they look plastic, but these are not plastic. They're stain, these these they're are stainless steel. They're stainless yeah, steel. Stainless steel. Yep. And a lot of your cheap brands, yes. we won't say who they are, <laughs> they're plastic. Exactly. So just yeah. like Italian motor vehicles, yeah. they are all the real deal. So they, they, it is good stuff. Yes, it is. It's fantastically made. So just like Italian families, I mean, we like to have big trays pizzas and all that sort of thing. So this is a good size. Where it's, you can massive. Put, yeah. it's massive. It's massive. a lot bigger than your standard oven. Um, so you've got plenty of room you know, to cook in, in, in this particular oven, yeah. So for Italian families, that's very important. Oh, it is. Food. <laughs> Definitely food, yeah. And they've got all different variations. You can get them in stainless steel, you can get them in black, um, you can get them in pyrolytic, standard ovens, okay. yeah. So you've got a massive uh, range to choose from, yeah. We spoke about colours. Yes. Now, you told me that they're actually sprayed by Lamborghini. They are. They're actually sprayed in the Lamborghini factory in Italy. Oh. Yeah. So all the freestanding cookers that you buy from Bertazzoni, yes. they're actually sprayed in the Lamborghini Correct. factory in whatever colour they, yep. they spray it so in. So you can have and own a Lamborghini and have the, your cooker in the same colour. Yeah. So that means I'm putting my order in now and you know what colour <laughs> I'm getting? Let's see if I can flick it out here. Not blue. That'll be the colour of my of my cooker. That one I have there. to say, I'd pick the same colour as well. Yellow? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so when I put my kitchen in my garage, I'm going to get yellow to match my car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't be owning a Lamborghini, but maybe one of these Bertazzoni's <laughs> I will. So let's talk about cooktops. They come in all different types. You can go from gas, electric, induction, teppanyaki plate. Um, and they're ve made very, very solid, yeah. So this one here, for an example, is basically three in one. Yeah, you've got your, you've got your gas and you've got your teppanyaki and you've got your induction. So you, you're sort of covering all different areas just on the one cooktop, yeah. Wow. And again, most importantly, you've got your, your cast, heavy yeah. cast iron trivets. trivets. And you've got your brass burners and you've got your metal knobs as well. And that is important as well. Metal handles or yep. stainless steel handles, yep. they're solid stainless steel handles, and burners are made in brass, yes. not the aluminium. Correct, yeah. So these things are going to last you a long, long time. Yeah, a, lo a lot longer, yes. Yeah, I love that. And these are great. Mm. Heavy trivets, they're great too. Yeah, they're a lot stronger than your standard trivets, yeah. That's a hot plate. That's 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 a, a you can use it as a hot plate, but teppanyaki. Oh, teppanyaki. So which, doing like fishes and yeah. So yeah. you can do you you know your onion, steak, uh, fish, um, vegetables. You know all sorts mm -hmm. of things. Pancakes, eggs. You know it. Straight on top of yeah, the plate. Yeah, straight on top. Yeah. And then you've got induction. And then you've got induction. So this is a three in one. Yeah. So great. So then you've also got. You can get just like just gas if you want to get just gas, and then you can get um, induction if you want induction on its own. Um, and with the gas, there's a couple of different choices you can actually get, different sizes, different layouts as well, or the way the um, burners are actually being placed. So yeah, they do give you a fair amount of choices to pick from, yeah. Wow. So there you go. 
So Bertaz, Bertazzoni. 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 <laughs> a great Italian appliance company. Yes, it is. There's only one thing missing. Ah, oh, I can imagine. And that's Gino. Oh, yes. Oh. And um, where there's Italian cooking, there's Gino. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Gino. Hi, guys. There you go, everyone. Um, I thought, well, with a, with a great Italian appliance, I thought I'd make you a great more traditional uh, antipasto. Wow. Yeah. Bruschetta. Bruschetta. That's delicious. How can you beat that? Um, great appliances and eight and Lamborghinis and eight appliances <laughs> and eight appliances. <laughs> right, so here we are, up about 25 feet on the cherry picker. Now you can see the problem here: the lichen and moss is growing on the top of that concrete moulding. You can see this is where I've cleaned already, where it's nice and clean. And this green lichen and moss here, the results of that getting wet is that the organic matter then drips down and you get these unsightly marks all over the actual render here. So that's what's causing the problem with this house and the dirty marks on the render. Job's all done. Come and have a look. Great, let's go. <laughs> so what do you think, guys? That's really good. So cleaning render? Who thought it was impossible? It's possible with Go Cleaning. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Yeah, good on you, Jeff. Thank you. No worries, You're Australian, you've been here for a while. What footy team do you support? I have a Collingwood, mate, yeah. You can't be a Collingwood supporter. <laughs> you got all your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you missing one, see? <laughs> ah, there, there you go. <laughs> Collingwood, mate. Essendon. Essendon. Yeah, I'll go for Essendon. Okay. So you're a drug you're a druggie yourself? No, not at all. <laughs> like, they got cleared, man. Yesterday they got cleared, yeah? They did get cleared, they did get yeah, cleared. And yeah, and you got like Collingwood guys, you got two of them. Like caught, you know? Oh, Carlton. Carlton. Good, good team, good it's team, good team. Carlton. Melbourne. Carlton. Could you Carlton. sing the song? Carlton. Could you sing the song? No, I'm not singing any song. <laughs> oh, we're from Tigerland. A fighting fury, we're from Tigerland. In any weather, you will see us with a grin. Hey. Bristling head and shin. Hey. If we're behind, never mind. We'll fight and fight and win. We're from Tigerland. Uh, oh, you, guys, you guys like baseball. Yeah, right? we love the yeah, baseball. baseball. What, what do you think about the baseball? You like the baseball? No. 
it's the most boring sport in the world. That's what I think. It's, pre it's pretty prehistoric. Oh, it's hit come on, mate. You, you watch cars world. go around like this and shit. You can't even see them. You watch balls. It's come on. Action. It's action. Mr. Alabama. So are you a cricket player? Do you cricket like the cricket? Player, I mean, well, watch the glass go. Yeah, that's not. exactly right. Yeah. Of course not. <laughs> We'll never wake until the final siren's gone. We're the tigers of old. We're strong and we're bold. We're from Tiger. Yellow we're and black. Up. We're from Tiger Land. That's in there. That's in there. You? Carlton. Carlton? Good, Good job. Good job. Good job. Geelong? Geelong? North Melbourne. North Melbourne. Actually, yeah. we've met a lot of North Melbourne supporters oh, today. We don't buy memberships all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> Can you sing it? <laughs> no, I don't want to do it. Just about, just <laughs> <laughs> Go on, no, I'm not doing it. Right, I'll okay. sing with you. Who do you follow in the footy? Essendon. Ah, we've got uh, another drug lord here. <laughs> oh, but they got off, eh? Yeah. How do you feel about that? Good. Truth come out, that's it. In Essendon. Essendon. Okay. The drug lords. Yeah, the drug lords, yeah. <laughs> Although, they, I think they're innocent now. They're innocent. Yes, they I'm are. Like Collingwood. Collingwood are the drug lords, cocaine kings apparently. Uh, join in the chorus, dancing at one and all. Join in the chorus, North Melbourne's on the ball. Good old the Kangas, the champions you'll agree. North Melbourne is the greatest team, just you wait and see. Hey! Can you guess the guess the tool? All right, Glenn, what's this week's uh, guess the tool? Well, that is, I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> we always do this yes. now. All right, so. If you want to either ring in or email to guess this tool, you can be that lucky winner. The $50 Telemarine Hardware Voucher. Mate, you love giving these vouchers away, don't well, you? Well, that's it, mate. That's oh, what we do. Beautiful. Yeah. What a tool. That's a tool. When I'm not in the shower, I'm in the bath. I like uh, snoozing in the bath. I'm sure you do. I don't know. I still can't get used to the bath anymore. Actually, shower. one bad habit that I've got in the shower Sometimes when I'm thinking, five minutes later I've gone, geez, I've been in the shower for five minutes. Yep. So I do a lot of thinking in the shower. That's why I like the bath. Do you think I sing in the shower? But I can't sing in the bath. It's not the same. No, it's not the same. And in the shower at the same time, it's just like, just get it over and done with. Anyway, let me try. <laughs> no, I can't sing in the bath. <laughs> you can't sing anyway. <laughs> If you've got to take advantage of it, the bath is the place to go. So, let's get your thoughts. The bath or the shower, which do you prefer? Which would you prefer or what do you do? Even better. I know what I'd prefer. I'd prefer to be in the bath all the time. But, but here's another thing too. When I'm in a shower, I just, I, I take forever, almost like it just drains out the water. But the bath, you can't really do that because it goes cold too easily. Oh, that's where you fill it up all the time. Put a little bit of extra warm water in there. It. Mm, it's not the same. Shower, it just keeps going. I'm having a shower. We'll see you next time. <laughs> 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 to keep up to date with what's going on at the Mr. Sink Show, follow us on Facebook. I sing in the shower, but I can't sing in the bath. It's not the same. No. I uh, is there earplugs? Oh, my TV, am I? <laughs> She's beautiful. Let me have a closer look. Who's <laughs> got time to have a bath anyway? Exactly. I don't have time to have a bath, but you make it, time. It's actually hurting my ass. <laughs> That's because there's no water in there, you goose. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Don't forget to add water. It helps when you have a bath. <laughs> yeah, but hold on. Who's got time to have a shower? <laughs> shower? Sorry, I mean the bath. <laughs> I'm going up. I'm just wondering if um, she needs a clean too. She's pretty dirty. 
thinking I might hand wash it myself. What do you reckon, Jeff? Uh, well, there you go. I, I never knew I would work with blur. 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 Okay. Yamma, 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 yamma.